In some scary but breaking news, the White House admits today to stealing money from American citizens in order to cover federal debts. Congress and the White House put Social Security benefits at risk. Al Gore says humans have lost the climate change battle while being paid $2 million a month to publicly say humans have lost the climate change battle. And Secret Service admits they know who's been in and out of the Biden home, and the White House is desperately trying to block with court orders the release of this list. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. Let's go ahead and jump into today's news update. Uh, actor Alec Baldwin has been convicted of involuntary manslaughter today. He accidentally shot and killed a staff member while filming a movie uh, not long ago, he could spend up to five years in jail. The U.S. federal government has officially hit $3.14 trillion in debt and now says that the debt limit ceiling must be raised as the country runs out of money. Now, you know it's weird when you see a headline that says the United States is preparing to send a generous military package to Ukraine as Biden's White House gets $50 billion of funding from Congress next to a headline that says the federal government is out of money and Social Security and military pay is at risk of not being paid. So imagine I saw those next to each other. We're giving away $50 billion. The federal government is broke and might not be able to make Social Security payments. I mean, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills to have to explain this stuff to you guys. Now, what's really messed up is uh, they're now saying that Social Security, veteran benefits, and military uh, pay might not be able to be paid as we hit the limit on the government spending. Now, I, I want to point out that Social Security, veterans benefits, military pay checks are likely not going to be missed next week. The, the media is hyping this story most likely in order to scare people, in order to put pressure on Republicans in the House. However, the government has always figured out a short-term solution, and Republicans are saying, we want you to be more fiscally responsible, and the White House is saying, no way, Jose. Now, I want to share this info with you because, number one, it's true, and number two, this is one of the biggest news stories in the news today, uh, and so... But I don't want you to leave this video panicked or worried. I do believe they are going to make those payments. Um, but the government is out of money until this situation is resolved. Now, for my younger viewers, I would caution you to plan your life and your retirement as if Social Security will not be there. Because what we are learning is that depending on the government is risky and bad for your mental health. But for those that are already retired or about to retire, I, I do think that they're going to figure out how to work this out. I just hope that they won't steal from the Social Security coffers in order to do so. And I'll tell you why that's a real fear later in this video. Also, for those of you that have money in the stock market or in 401ks at your company, your accounts could become very volatile in the next few days. Uh, on fear and speculation of the government running out of money. Now, they will most likely bounce back as a solution is presented. So do not panic, sell, only sell right now if you've really thought through uh, your sell or you believe the company or the index that you have your money in won't be good in the future. Otherwise, do not panic. Okay, now speaking of the major market indexes, they were all down today for the second day in a row. They're now saying this year's gains have all been wiped out because of the, the pol political fighting in Washington, D.C. Gold and silver, however, were up today on fear of the Fed and the government defaulting on their debt. Now, here's what's really, really scary. According to a report from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, the Treasury Department dipped into American retirement plans in order to pay federal debts. Now, uh, Secretary Yellen admitted to tapping into the civil service retirement plan, the disability funds, as well as the postal service health benefit fund. 
So they took money from civil servants, disabled people, and postal workers. And, and she admitted this today. Now, truthfully, you hear about the government dipping into Social Security or taking our 401k money or retirement plans, and you think, this person must be wearing a tinfoil hat. They're obviously a conspiracy theorist. Then you read today on Yahoo News as one of the main financial articles that Janet Yellen admits to taking money from these uh, pension funds in order to keep the country solvent and pay federal debts. So this is this is pretty scary what's going on. With all that said, Biden's White House says they're not going to lose this game of chicken and they will not blink. So the White House is basically saying, listen, Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans, you guys better bow down to us and give in on more spending or you're going to bankrupt the country. Truthfully, the country's already bankrupt. We're just printing our way into more and more debt. Now, the White House is saying, <laughs> the White House is saying today that we aren't going to focus on spending less taxpayer money. Instead, we will focus our attention on collecting more tax revenue through the IRS. Now, I'm not, I'm not kidding you guys. This was what the White House actually said today. The White House literally said, we aren't going to be better with your money, wiser with your money, more prudent with the spending of your money. Instead, we are going to focus on extracting more tax money from the American people. Now, maybe I'm crazy, but this sounds crazy to me. We're not going to be better with the money that you give to us. We're going to figure out how to collect more of it from you. That's literally what they said. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want your government to be wiser with your tax money or just collect more of it from you? Let me know in the comments down below. I already know the answer, but I want to hear from you guys. This stuff is crazy. Now, the White House is in a bit of a panic today as the Secret Service announced without the White House's permission that they have a list of the visitors from Biden's Delaware home where top secret classified documents were being stored in a closet and in the president's garage. Now, the White House is seeking to block the release of these names, but we now know the Secret Service has them. But my guess is this list will never come to the light of day. Now, why would the White House want the American public to be blocked from knowing who's been in and out of President Biden's house with these top secret documents in it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Also, Republican Representative James Comer is calling on UPenn University to disclose who visited Biden's former university office and how much money China has donated to the school. The school is saying that this is private information and it will have to be subpoenaed in order for them to release it. So I would expect to see some subpoenas against UPenn in order to get this information. Biden's approval rating has dropped significantly since the document scandal began, but the president and his team say they will announce whether he will run for uh, office again in 2024 after President Biden delivers the State of the Union address on, Feb on February 7th. I mean, who knows? He may announce it during the State of the Union or maybe the day after. I don't know. At the World Economic Forum, former Vice President Al Gore warned the world that humanity has passed the point of no return when it comes to climate change. He said the oceans will boil and that we will see rain bombs going forward. It was also revealed by those opposed to Al Gore that Al Gore controls a green energy investing firm worth $36 billion of money he raised from scaring people about climate change. This fund, which he controls, pays him $2 million a month to travel the world telling people that climate change will end humanity. Now, do you think there's any chance that he's biased? I don't know. I'm going to let you make up your own mind about climate change, but I'm just letting you know what he's saying and what those opposed to him are saying. New House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has ended proxy voting established by Nancy Pelosi. 
He says uh, politicians are paid to show up on behalf of the American voter and vote in person. No more voting from the comfort of your home because you simply don't want to fly back to Washington, D.C. Also, President Zelensky has called for a meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. He wants to ask in person for China to help fund rebuilding Ukraine as well as intervening on behalf of Ukraine with uh, President Vladimir Putin and Russia to end this war. So I'll let you know if he ends up getting that uh, meeting with uh, China uh, and, and what ends up coming of that. Now, Casey and I are giving away $5,000 to help people right here in our community. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. Before you go, make sure to check out this important video and be subscribed to the channel. Remember, you are amazing and I'll see you tomorrow.